Coefficients that we would understand are based on ranking, as we said. So it is known as the Spearman rank order correlation. For example, you you appeared for any painting competition or drawing competition. Now there are two persons who evaluated. So there are ten people who appeared for the painting competition and two judges who evaluated. Judge one gave. So it's just like say person A, B, C, D, E, F, I, J. Okay, and those were ranked. Uh, person A was ranked as one by the first judge, and F was ranked as second. However, second judge ranked F as first and C as second because the 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 thing that I liked in the painting was very different from someone else. Okay, so my ranking would be very different from others. Now. What we do in a rank order correlation? Rank order correlation. We have the rankings for each of the ten, uh, ten, uh, ten students. Okay, so the ranking for undergraduate students or the painting competition for ten students is given here, and the second, uh, the ranks by the second uh, judge is also given. So we have the ranks which are known as R X and R Y. Now I find the difference of the rank. Okay, which we denoted by D. Then I do the square of the difference. Okay, and then I sum up those squares. So I found out the square of the difference as uh, nine nine one 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 zero four. Okay, now what I do is I add up all these. And what's my formula for the Spearman rank order correlation? The formula is again important. The formula is one minus six summation d square divided by n into n square minus one, where d is the square of the difference between the two ranks. For each of the rank, and then what I do is I do divide it by number of items, my uh, multiply it by square of the number of items minus one. So it's n into n square minus one. N is the number of items. Okay, and based on that, let's say my rank comes here to be uh, the correlation comes to be point eight. Now point eight is a strong correlation. Now Spearman developed this correlation in 1904, and his idea was to find out the intelligence when it is judged by two persons. So there can be variations when there are two judges judging the in, in the level of intelligence of an individual. So each of the judge would rank that this person is more intelligent than other. The other judge would rank accordingly. When I have the two ranks, I can compare those two ranks. I can find out the difference between the ranks for each of the groups. I can sum those differences, the square of those differences, and then I can use a formula which is one minus six summation d square divided by n into n square minus one, based on which we, I can calculate the correlation. Now. Uh, note that who would be ranked. So the ranking would be uh, the highest value for each variable. So the perform the person who is performing best would be ranked one. The person who is performing worst would be ranked ten. Okay. Similarly, in the candles uh, correlation coefficient, it's again a distribution free coefficient, and there again we do a ranking, but the ranking is a little different than the Spearman. Usually, the Spearman rank correlation is a little simpler correlation. But what would happen if I have two persons with the same rank? We call this as a case of tied ranks. So, what would happen when there are tied ranks? Let's say I. I am ranking the people now. When I am ranking the people, what I do is I let's say uh, when I am giving the marks. Okay, let's say I am giving the marks as five, six, but uh, I gave seven marks to two students. I gave eleven marks again to two students. Okay, five marks which I gave was the lowest mark. So for the lowest marks, I gave the rank one. Okay, six marks was the second marks, so I ranked it two. Now seven marks were obtained by two students. Okay, so rather than ranking it as three, what would I rank? There are two students, so I would rank it as three point five. Okay, now rank three also gone, rank four also gone. The next rank that would I would assign to the next person would be fifth rank. Then. Again, for the sixth rank, there are two competitors, each of them having eleven marks. So I would not assign them sixth rank. I would not. I cannot assign one as sixth, other as seventh. 
So what I do is I take the average of 6 and 7. So both of them I would assign as 6.5. Okay. Now 6 and 7 gone. So what would be the next rank I can assign? The next rank I can assign to the next person who is having 14 marks would be 8th rank. And then I would have the 9th rank and the 10th rank accordingly. Okay. So now these are the ranks. When there are more than one person securing same marks, in those cases we use tied ranks. And once we have the tied ranks, we actually take the average of the ranks which would be there on which they would be there so if someone is on the rank let's say three and four i take the average of three and four as 3.5 i i do not give anyone as rank three anyone as rank four the only rank i do is for both of them is 3.5 and then the next person i would rank would be neither three four it would be directly five so after 3.5 it would be five clear the concept is very important now i have ranked this for x i have ranked this for y Again, the same process, I'll square the ranks and then I would take the, uh, the summation of this, these, the multiplication of these ranks, okay? So, 3.5 into 2.5 would be x into y, okay? So, what, what is the formula in the case of a tied rank? When there was just untied ranks, we had a very simple formula where we were finding out where we were where we were finding we were finding out the difference between the ranks, squaring those difference and then summing up those difference. Here, what we do is summation of x into y, which is the rank x into y. I'll sum those minus summation of x rank, summation of y rank divided by n. This whole divided by root of summation of x square minus summation x whole square divided by n what is the difference what is summation x square and summation of x the whole square summation of x that means this rank i am summing up and this is 55 okay so this is square of 55 so as you can see this is square of 55 okay and what is summation x square summation x square is i first square each of the rank so x each of the rank I will square it. So 3.5 square, 6.5 square, 9 square, 5 square, 2 square and so on. And then I add up those. So it is 384. Okay. So here it would be 384 minus 55 square divided by 10. Again y square which is 383.5 minus 55 square divided by 10 and then I solve this so I get a value of 0.9 here okay and that's my Spearman rank order correlation in the case of a tied rank.